guys in the previous video we learned about how to go ahead and remove the item from the cart and in this video we're going to add a button which is for proceed to checkout so let's do that so we go back to our cart items container and remember that we are checking um, all of this information here and um, what we want to do is basically add a proceed to cart button so I think the best place to add that would be where we have the subtotal just below that right so that's the best place where we can add that checkout okay so we have a table going on here we can say proceed to checkout okay and then what we need to do is just use the link so we haven't pulled out link so let's pull out link from the next link so import link from in fact just link from next link okay we'll use the link okay and inside of this link what we want to do is we'll have an hrf that's going to take us to the checkout page so as we know in Next.js uh, in order for us to have that route available all we have to do is just create the page with the same name so we'll create this as checkout .js and for now I'll just say const checkout is equal to arrow functions arrow function and then dev and probably we can say coming soon because I'll be showing that in the next video okay and just export default checkout I think it'll be better to have it in layout because we don't have to import the header in the footer okay so layout coming soon let this be in an h2 tag okay and um, yeah that's about it for this one so we can just say checkout so this page should go to checkout when this link is clicked and let's have a button over here inside of this we'll say button class will be btn btn secondary which is a bootstrap class okay and then if you want to give some extra classes you can so like who next large black button okay so you can always style it further you should never write your um, CSS on the existing classes of bootstrap it's obviously not the correct way of doing it okay so create your own class and then add them so let's add a span over here and inside of the span let's give it a class as well so woo and let's name it as cart cart checkout text and let's say proceed to checkout awesome great so now we have proceed to checkout if we click on it sure enough we have coming soon I think h2 looks quite big we can just make it a little bit small let's make it like h5 or something yeah much better in this let's just add a class name let's just wrap it inside of a div and give it a class name of margin top 5 okay slightly better instead of top let's just keep it margin 5 so great awesome so this works for us guys um, uh, I'm gonna make some changes in the menu structure also so that it's visible in the uh, mobile view because currently mo it doesn't work for mobile okay so I'm not gonna make you watch that so I'll do it myself uh, later on but uh, just to let you know that I'll be making some changes in the navigation bit so I'll just move things around over here I'll just add some button that gives me an opportunity to click and then my menu opens so I'm going to take care of all of that also I will convert this into a grid system because currently the style doesn't look that great 
if you check it's like we have a space here so I'm gonna fix all of that and I'm going to push that uh, all of the style and everything uh, into the master branch so you can take it from there okay so you can start this repository because I'll be making all of the changes here and uh, I have done all of the changes and once I do that we'll go ahead and deploy it so then you can go onto this link and then you'll be able to see uh, it in live you'll see it live and uh, also uh, in some of my previous videos I have already explained how to deploy your site so you can check that as well if you haven't already cool I'll see you in the next then regarding the proceed to checkout page which is checkout page so we'll deal with the check checkout page later see you then bye bye